What's up guys? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and for today's video we are going to do my July book wrap up. I'm going to talk about all the books I read in July which there were nine of them I believe this month. So we got through a good chunk of books which I was happy about but I want to go through each one and talk about how I felt about them, what I would rate them so you guys can get a little taste for maybe possibly books that you want to read in August or if you already read these books you can see if you agree with me or not. Obviously these are all my own opinions. If you have different opinions that is totally okay but yeah let's just get right on into the books i read in july first up i finished will always have summer obviously this is the third book in the trilogy of the summer i turned pretty this was a huge series this month because of the amazon prime show that came out which i actually watched before i read all the books and i loved it i thought it was so good i loved all the characters and it fit perfectly into the books when i read them i obviously ended up picturing them as the characters in the show because i watched that first but it worked out great i know that doesn't always work out sometimes you see something and hate the characters and then you have to go through and read it and try to picture them as something else and it just doesn't work it worked out great in this case so because this series is a trilogy i gave each book different ratings but i guess i'm just gonna talk about this one since this is the only one i technically read in july but i rated this book a four out of five the second book in the series i wasn't a fan of i think you could have done without that book and kind of just smushed parts of it into the first and then this last book but i really enjoyed the first and third book so i gave this one a four out of five stars if you haven't read this you obviously need to it's been talked about all over every social media platform and it's obviously a show now so if you haven't seen it you should watch it as well i just can't speak highly enough about this series it's just a cute young adult series that's super easy to read based on the beach so it's such a fun one to read in the summertime and i absolutely fell in love with all the characters so if you haven't read this yet i definitely recommend but this was the first one i read in july the second book i got through in july was love in other words this feels like a lifetime ago like i couldn't even remember that i read this in july because it seems like i read it a long time ago but i did first of all the cover is absolutely insane i know there's two different covers i think for this one and i have the updated version i'm absolutely obsessed with it which is kind of what drew me to read this book i've also heard so many amazing things about this book and i've seen a lot of people on book talk rate this five star i had a lot of high expectations going into this book which i wasn't disappointed i absolutely loved this book i did rate it a 4.5 out of 5 because it just didn't give me absolutely everything i wanted and i just don't want to throw out five star ratings to everything i have a very select few books that i've given five star ratings and obviously that's just my opinion a lot of people have rated this five stars and i can see why i absolutely love the characters childhood friends to lovers the story development throughout is absolutely insane and there's a huge twist in the end i don't want to give any spoilers away but if you haven't read this book i completely recommend reading it and macy and elliot the main characters you will fall in love with love in other words is definitely a great one the third book i read in july was Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I absolutely loved this book again. I promise I didn't love every single book I read in July, but the first few ones I really loved. This is based in 1983. It goes back quite a while. It talks about this famous family that lives in Malibu. It talks about all their backgrounds, the parents' background, the children's backgrounds. So I really love how it talked about each of the characters and you kind of get to know them wholly. So this one definitely goes back and forth from present and past. If you like that style of writing, you would definitely enjoy this read. The only thing about it is I didn't absolutely love the ending it wasn't like everything i expected it would be in the end overall this book was so great and i also gave it a 4.5 out of 5 because it's definitely one of my favorite books i read in july but again like the ending just didn't do it for me so i couldn't give it five stars and if you guys have any other books by taylor jenkins read that you would recommend leave them in the comments below because i really enjoyed her writing and i would love to read some more by her fourth book from july was the girls in the garden this is by lisa jewel i honestly found this book randomly at barnes and noble I loved the cover and then when I read the back it sounded super mysterious and it just kind of drew me in so that made me purchase it. I've never really heard about it anywhere so I was kind of going into this one blind. From the first chapter this one drew me in. I was absolutely obsessed. I think I read this in like two days maybe because I was so drawn in from the first page. So this is a book that's based in London which I loved that setting. Basically their father has a schizophrenic outbreak that leads him to go to a mental hospital. This family moves to a neighborhood in London where there's a garden in the middle of it and there's a bunch of different children that the kids start to play with. The 
mom feels super comfortable but there's a lot of secrets within the book and mysteries that come to surface that you don't know are gonna happen so i really loved the thrill of this book but again this is another book that i just really didn't love the ending so i was honestly going to rate this book a five out of five all the way through until the last few chapters brought it down to a four out of five which is still great but the ending just wasn't it for me and it kind of made me not love the whole book as much as i would have if the ending was different if you guys are into thrillers i definitely do recommend this book it is a good read and i enjoyed reading it i thought the characters were super interesting and just the storyline was nothing like i've ever heard before so i really enjoyed that the next book i read in july was love and gelato this book is obviously everywhere i'm sure a ton of you have read it but i had not read this book i wanted to get this off my tbr especially because the netflix film of it came out and i wanted to watch that but i wanted to picture the characters how i wanted them in my head so i wanted to read the book first so that's what i did i have never read anything by jenna evans welch and i absolutely loved her writing this book was phenomenal i loved lena and ren i just thought they were the cutest characters and the fact that it's based in tuscany just made it 10 times better i absolutely loved the setting and the storyline of this book very much like young adult super easy to read i rated this a four out of five it's not like life-changing but it's definitely a great book and has a great story within it so if you haven't read this i definitely recommend also i know she wrote love and luck and love and olives so if you've read either of those in the comments let me know if you enjoyed them or not because i am interested because i did enjoy her writing a lot but yeah that was the fifth book i read in july number six on my july reading list this month was every summer after i feel like i have a different opinion than everyone else on this book which is fine don't get me wrong i did enjoy the book but i honestly just felt like it was very similar to a ton of other summer reads that i've read so it didn't stand out too much to me but i just felt like i had read too many books similar to this up to reading this book so that's kind of like all i thought about i didn't think there was anything that stood out about it enough for me to rate it super high so i did give this one a 3.5 out of 5. a childhood friends to lovers again like second chance romance lake vibe it reminded me a lot of every summer after and i had read that one before this so it was just too similar for me to completely and fully enjoy it i just kind of thought it was like okay which i feel like it's an opinion that a lot, not a lot of people agree with and that's okay that was every summer after number seven was layla now let me tell you i was so excited to read layla if you haven't heard me say it before verity is one of my top books it's one of the only books i've rated five stars i absolutely fell in love with verity i knew that layla was supposed to be a similar vibe more of like the darker side of colleen hoover so i was very excited to read this one i was drawn in from page one i thought the story was super mysterious and you just didn't know what was going to happen yet and in this book they go between an interview that ends up happening and the past i liked that aspect of it so you got more of like a present and past tense throughout the book but i think it was just a little too out there for me layla and Leeds are the main characters in this book layla ends up fighting for her life i won't tell you why but he whisks her away to a bed and breakfast that they first met at to kind of get her back on track or hopefully grow their bond again together and there's a another guest that Leeds ends up forming a connection with but the guest he ends up forming a connection with is just way out there so i'll have to have you guys read the book if you haven't already but it just was so unbelievable to me to the point that it was hard to enjoy fully so i did give this one a 3.5 out of 5 some points were just too exaggerated for me that i couldn't fully grasp it and enjoy it so that was layla number eight i have a lot to say on beat tree this is obviously a popular book and emily henry is an extremely popular author this was the very first book i read by emily henry which i feel like was a mistake i'll just say it i did not like this book i thought it was so boring it's an easy read but it took me so long to get through because i could not get behind it i just thought it was so boring i didn't think anything very significant happened in this book for me to enjoy it Ooh, i wanted to love it so bad because i've heard so much about emily henry and if you have other books that you'd recommend by her down below that are better than beach read please let me know because i want to give her a second chance i have people we made on vacation and book lovers and i've heard book lovers is better please let me know because i need to redeem myself with emily henry i rated this one like a two out of five i think it wasn't it for me i feel like there are better books out there by her so please let me know so i can redeem myself from this book last but not least my ninth book i read in july was call me by your name i wanted to read this one because call me by your name the movie with timothy chalamet is one of my absolute favorite movies of all time i think it is so well done the characters are incredible except for the fact that army hammer had all that stuff come 
account from him i obviously don't support him in any way i think it's incredible i think everyone needs to watch it so i just wanted to read the book since i've never read it before i honestly thought this was going to be a quick read but the writing was a lot harder to get through than i imagined it was easier for me to follow along the story because i have seen the movie and it is pretty similar to the book i mean there's definitely things that are different but overall i could kind of understand what was happening but i felt like the writing was very hard to read so let me know if you've read this book i definitely recommend the book so i gave this a four out of five just because it was a little bit harder to read along with but it is a masterpiece and i absolutely love the storyline if you haven't read it i definitely recommend that you do but those were all the books i read in july so i got through nine books total i'm pretty happy with that hopefully obviously i can read more in august but i will be moving so we'll see if that's going to happen. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and what your opinions about them were and how you would rate them because I love to see how other people thought about the same books that I read. But I love you guys so, so much. I will see you in my next video and thank you so much for watching.